You're listening to the Monday Market Highlights brought to you by Milford. Good morning. It's Monday the 25th of April and I'm Nick from Milford. Looking at the key economic news from last week, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell spoke as part of the International Monetary Fund debate and reiterated the central bank's determination to bring inflation under control and that a 50 basis point hike was likely at the May meeting. The Chinese economy expanded 4.8% year-on-year in the first quarter of 2022, up from 4% last quarter and ahead of market expectations at 4.4%. It is, however, worth noting that the March retail sales numbers fell 3.5% year-on-year, down for the first time since July 2020 and worse than market expectations of minus 1.6%. The German producer price index jumped to 30.9% in March, exceeding market expectations of 28.2% and breaking a record high for the fourth straight month in a row. The data reflects the impacts of the war in Ukraine for the first time, with energy prices remaining the biggest upward contributor. Remember, the German producer price index measures the changes in the price of goods sold by manufacturers. Moving closer to home, we had the RBA minutes which revealed the bank's concern about the second round effects of higher commodity prices and confirmed that the likely timing of the first rate hike has been brought forward due to expectations of further inflation and a pickup in wages growth. Overall, the minutes reinforce the expectations of a June rate hike following the upcoming CPI and wage price index data. In New Zealand, Q1 CPI was 6.9%, under shooting market expectations of 7.1%, but still hitting a near 30-year high. Much of the downward surprise was due to large cuts in domestic airfares, which is expected to reverse in the coming quarters as New Zealand opens up. Annual tradable and non-tradable inflation both had multi-decade highs, illustrating that the nature of this inflation was broad-based. In key equity news, NTD, a new wagering business launching in New Zealand and Australia, have made a 10-year deal with betmakers to use their technology services. The NTD consortium is made up of Matt Tripp, CEO of TechCorp, and Matt Davey, CEO of News Corp, and is set to launch in the second half of this year. Ramsey Healthcare received a $20 billion bid from a consortium of investors led by KKR and includes superannuation and offshore sovereign wealth funds. During Wednesday's trading session, Ramsey shares rose by more than 25% after they confirmed the bid at $88 per share. It's possible that this may prompt further offers for Ramsey with other bidders coming to the party. Finally, Global reporting season kicked off with Netflix closing the week down 35% after a very large and unexpected miss on their trading update and guidance. Netflix reported a drop in subscribers down 200,000 people in the first quarter and guided for a loss of up to 2 million in the second quarter. The reasons given for this miss included strong competition, password sharing, and the disruptive macro conditions. Looking forward to the week ahead, It's a quiet week on the economic front with the market's focus on the Australian CPI print out on Wednesday. The RBA is watching this closely as it will be a key factor in their decision making going forward. In the US, we have a big week of reporting ahead, including Meta, Amazon, Apple, Alphabet and Microsoft. The market will continue to focus on the pricing power of these companies given the current cost pressures. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.